don't want to toast you. We just want to get to know you a little better. <laughs> right, ladies? Right. Yeah, right. I was talking to the ladies, fool. <laughs> Come, ladies. Let's get to know the bride-to-be a little better. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> say, say, where are you taking her? In the kitchen for a little girl talk. <laughs> Come on, honey. I'll stay over here. <laughs> Donna, darling, it's ready, Freddy. Fred, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what I'm doing here? It's Saturday night, ain't it? You belong to me, and I belong to you. And who belongs to this cigar? <laughs> cigar belongs to my date tonight. A date? I mean, you got a lot of nerve having a date on Saturday night. Well, Fred, I'm sorry, but you didn't say anything about coming over tonight, and after all, you don't own me. I know I don't own you, but I made nine years worth of payments. <laughs> I mean, where is he? Where is this guy? Bring him out here. I face him man to man, fist to fist, and face to face. Just bring him on out here, show him. That's all. Just... <laughs> Hey, say, listen, buddy, you lucky. I was gonna give you some of these across your lip. But it's against my principle to hit a man, to hit a man with, uh, with glasses. Lou, this is Fred Sanford. Fred, meet Lou Turner. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Why don't we all have a nice glass of wine? I'll get the glass. What you trying to do there? I mean, you don't get no milk out of that. <laughs> Listen, Lou, uh, let me make this as simple as possible for you. See, Donna and I don't stand on all that old etiquette stuff, so you can feel free at any moment to get the hell out of here. Fred, that's not polite. Please, please sit down. Here, Fred. <laughs> Here's some nice imported wine Lou brought over from his liquor store. Oh, yeah? When I don't drink nothing, ain't got no label on it. I put the wine in the decanter to allow it to breathe. Breathe. <laughs> that is correct. You see, fine wines must be decanted. They have a limited life in the bottle. Five years for white wine, 50 to 60 for Burgundy, and approximately 50 to 100 for Bordeaux. And three days for 7-Up. <laughs> most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. That's the most ridiculous thing you ever heard, uh, is it? Uh, Fred, Fred, look at this, uh, look at this pamphlet Lou brought over. It's all about the Senior Olympics this year. What's that? Athletic events for persons of 50 and over. Oh. I, oh, I remember that. Uh, on your mark, get set ready, keel over. <laughs> Well, Sanford, for your information, in order to participate in the Senior Olympics, one must be sound of mind, fleet of foot, and in excellent physical condition. I do 100 push-ups every day. Well, here, add nothing to that. Shove your lips up your nose. Fred? <laughs> Lou won the decathlon last year. And I have every intention of winning it again this year. Listen, I've had enough of this chit-chat. Now, Donna, you gotta make a decision. Now, who do you want? Me, who's been faithful for you all these years, or this wine old come lately? Now, look here. You look here, Sanford. No, buddy, you look here. Listen, you want me to decant my fist upside your face? <laughs> Act like a fool. Who's a fool? Say that outside to me. Come on outside and say that. I'd be happy to. Well, come on in. Lou, Fred. Don't worry about nothing. I'll take care of myself. Oh. Okay, listen. Fred. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like you to meet my lovely bride-to-be. Uh, Donna, meet the family. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you could come. How about a toast to the bride and groom? Woodrow, put that bottle down before I unscrew your wrist. It's not that we don't want to toast you. 
We just want to get to know you a little better. <laughs> right, ladies? Right. Yeah, right. I was talking to the ladies, fool. <laughs> Come, ladies. Let's get to know the bride-to-be a little better. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> say, say, where you taking her? In the kitchen for a little girl talk. <laughs> Come on, honey, that thing on her. <laughs> say, Fred, uh, ain't it a little late for you to be getting married? I'm still breathing, ain't I? <laughs> are you really a nurse, or do you just say you a nurse and all your patients are heathens? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Why don't you get married in a church? Yeah, why don't you get married in a church? Why? I don't know. But we decided to have a small and informal wedding. You remember to tell that to the Lord. And the Lord will tell you, I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Right, sister? Amen. <laughs> Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Where will you be when the knock comes, sister? So she's a nurse, huh, Fred? I bet she gives a mean back rub, huh? <laughs> How would you like me to rub this across your lips? How many doctors you got on the side? Oh, this has gone far enough. Sit down. <laughs> you ain't finished answering all our questions yet. What kind of mother do you intend to be to Lamont, our favorite nephew? You think you can just walk in here and take my sister Elizabeth's place? My sister had class. Our whole family's got class. <laughs> you are nothing but three witches. Who are you calling a witch, witch? <laughs> Both of you guys, both of you, get on out. Hey, wait a minute, Fred, house. you can't put us out. We're your relatives. You're a damn lie. Ain't nobody in my family like neither one of y'all. Like, get out of my way. Get out of my way, Fred. Get out of my way. What's the matter? Let me in. Tell me what's going on. Let me in. Donna. Donna. Let me in. 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 Let What did she do to us? She had the nerve to call us witches. And she was right. You three ugly witches. <laughs> and, and you married your husbands and turned them into frogs. <laughs> Get out of here. Get the jumping. Get out of here. Fred Sam, the wrath of God will strike you down. And this Louisville slugger will knock you out. I said, left hook, left hook. You got him now. Ooh, Ooh did you see that punch? Man, I bet he ain't gonna never grow hair on that spot no more. <laughs> look at that. Say, look at all the women in there screaming, Melvin. Surprising how many women like fights. Yeah, but they go for different reasons. See, a man like to believe that's him in the ring winning. And a woman like to believe that's her husband there losing. <laughs> <laughs> Say, turn the sound down during the commercial. That's a good fight, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, you want another can of beer before the next round starts? Yeah, that would be nice. OK. Hey, Lamont, where's your father anyway? I don't know, Melvin. Instead of being here with us and enjoying a great fight and having a good time, he's probably sitting in some movie alone and bored. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice smell. It is nice, isn't it? I love the smell of the ocean. Oh, is that what you smell? <laughs> I thought it was me. I got on my men and skin bracelet. I admit it's nice being so close to the water, but you smell good too, Fred. Yeah. Last time I was in Lover's Lane was in St. Louis years ago. Just the three of us. The three of you? Yeah, me and the girl and the guy that mugged us. <laughs> I'll bet you were a real Romeo in your younger days, weren't you, Fred? Yeah. I wish I knew then what I know now. Wish I had now what I had then. <laughs> I do pretty good with what I got left. You certainly do. <laughs> yeah. Donna? Yes, Fred? I'm sure glad you left your coat at the house and we could get together again. So am I, Fred. You know, after that last fight, 
I couldn't get you out of my mind. Every time I looked at a piece of junk, I could see your face. What does that mean? It means I was thinking about you, you know, I just couldn't get you out of my mind. I understand. You know, we, we really never got to know each other. No, we didn't. We didn't give you no kind of chance, you know. It's like that song. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you know, getting to a movie every now and then, there's no way of getting to know anybody, you know what I mean? And I wasn't getting anywhere. And you know what I'm getting at? Yes, Fred. <laughs> Fred, how do you think your son will react? The last time he was very much against our getting married. Well, don't worry about him. Well, Lamont's very attached to you, and I don't want him to think I'm trying to shake you loose of him. Look, I've been a bachelor for over 20 years. I'm ready to get shook. <laughs> You'll have to tell him. I'll tell him. And what would you tell your friends? What do you mean? I mean, you're young and pretty and got a nice figure, and you're a good driver. Well, <laughs> what will you tell them when they ask you what you see in me? Why, I'll tell them that you're sweet and generous and handsome. You know that, don't you, Fred? Yeah, I know it, but I like to hear it every now and then. <laughs> oh, dear, look at the time. Time to go? I'm afraid so. I have to be up early in the morning. Well, Donna, before we go, here, I have something for you to make it official. Oh, Fred, a ring. Oh, my engagement ring. Well, it ain't yours yet. But it will be after I make 35 more payments. <laughs> oh, Fred, isn't that pretty? Beautiful. See, you are sweet, just like I said. And what was that other thing you said I was? Generous? No, no. Handsome. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fred, how can I ever thank you? Well, you could start by giving me one across the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, good evening, good evening. Be of good cheer. All's good is here. <laughs> Mr. Wilcox, may I present my fiance, Fred Sanford, and his son, Lamont? Hey, Lamont, how do you do? Fred, Osgood Wilcox. Yes, how do you do? Oh. Oh. In pretty good shape. Indeed I am. I did 30 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, and jogged three miles this morning before breakfast. What did you do? He read, dear Abby, stood up too fast and almost fainted. <laughs> well, I'm in good condition for a man who's had several abdominal operations because I've had this little sweetie pie to take care of me. Uh, honey, why don't you go in and sit down and uh, relax? All right. Uh, Lamont will give us some drinks. Hey, we still got some of that good cherry left? Yeah, it's in the refrigerator. Well, bring it out, son. A and use them good jelly glasses. <laughs> it's a very interesting little place you've got here, Sanford. What's your game? Uh, Kino, what's yours? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, what do you do? Oh, I'm a coordinator. You're a coordinator. What do you coordinate? Junk. <laughs> hey, Pop, can I see you in the kitchen for a minute? That kid can't find nothing. Donna, will you explain to him what it is that I collect? See, I'm not just an ordinary coordinator. I'm a collector. Oh, you're a collector. What do you collect? Antiques, bric-a-brac, objets d'art. That's right. Junk. <laughs> charming fellow here. Charming, charming. Listen, I told you the wine was right over here. Listen, I know that, Pop. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes in private. About what? Now, what was it you said that dude out there was, her patient? That's right. Uh-huh. What does that mean? That means he's her patient like Richard Burton is Elizabeth Taylor's patient. Oh, what are you talking about? She's his nurse. Well, maybe that's the way it started. I'm telling you, Pop, that dude out there is her boyfriend. Donna and I are engaged. Now, what would she bring a boyfriend here for? To get the bidding started. Get two guys competing against each other. <laughs> oh, you've been watching too much Peyton Place. Get the wine. Come on. All right. I ain't gonna say another word. I hope you don't. I'm gonna mind my business. Please do. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry we was too late. I had to go down to the basement and uh, get the refreshments. 
White wine. Nothing like white wine. White wine should be drunk young. Yeah, I was drunk when I was young. <laughs> Oh, it's sherry. Nothing like a good sherry. Harvey's? No, Thrifty's. <laughs> Say, listen, Wilcox, you, you don't you have to stir it. Oh, no. No, no, Fred. Uh, Mr. Wilcox is testing it for aroma and taste. He's quite a wine expert. Oh, like my cousin TJ. Oh, is your cousin a connoisseur? No, no he's, he's a wine. wine. <laughs> Lamont. I take it you don't approve of your father and I getting married. Do you mind telling me why? Because it's ridiculous, that's why. He's too old, and you're gonna be miserable. What kind of life is it being the wife of an old man? What kind of life do you think it is being the father of a young dummy? Don't call me a young dummy. You're 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 a young dummy. you and I owe him one across his lip. After all, he is your father, and I think you ought to show some respect. Tell that dummy. And Fred, you be quiet. What? You only make things worse. Now, your son has a right to his opinion, and he has a right to defend his mother, so be quiet. Listen, you don't tell me how to talk to my son, woman. And don't you raise your voice at me, Fred Sanford. I'll raise my voice when I get ready. Not to me, you won't. You and anybody else. You don't tell me when to raise my voice. I ain't taking no stuff off my first wife, and I ain't gonna take none off you either. <laughs> She died so young. Well, you're old man. Your husband didn't live too long either, did he? I am glad I found out about your bad temper. And I'm glad I found out about your big mouth. If you will excuse me, I'll just get my coat. Uh, oh. Donna, wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I don't see any reason to stay on, do you? Listen, I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, now, you're going to let a little argument ruin all our plans. You said some very nasty things to me, Fred. Very nasty. But we're supposed to be compatible. See, you'd be different if you was tar as the bull. <laughs> You're not a bull. You Leo the lion. Well, that's true. Well, will you stay? If you're really and truly sorry. I really am truly sorry. Honestly? Honestly. All right, then. I'll stay. Oh, great. Gee whiz. Come on back over here and sit down. Uh, hey, son, I took back all the things I said about Dinah. Now, everything's all right again. Oh, really? Even the part about how she's over the hill? Who <laughs> said that? He did last night when he was talking about you. What you want to bring that up for? Well, as long as you're taking stuff back, you might as well take it all back. There's no need in starting off your marriage with secrets between you. Did you say that about me? I don't remember. If I said it, I didn't mean it the way it sounded. But just how did you mean it? Well, I, I might have said, you know, for somebody that was over the hill, you wasn't bad. <laughs> and, and if you put on some dark glasses, people wouldn't be able to see them bags under your eyes. <laughs> well, I think that just about does it. Well, what's the matter? The matter is that you're very much out of line, Mr. Sanford. Well, if you think you're going to shut me up every time I get ready to say something, then you forget about the whole thing, Mrs. Harris. That's fine with me. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> I should have realized you had the manners of a common junk man. I should have realized that you weren't over the hill, you down in the valley. <laughs> Leo the lion, you down at the barracuda. <laughs> I should have known she was gonna turn out like that. Yeah, it's a good thing you found out in time, Pop. Yeah, I ain't gonna let no woman walk over me. Yeah, you really stood up to her. You have to. You have to. I was proud of you, Pop. You got to get things straightened out right in the beginning. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, son. I don't remember saying she was over the hill. You don't, huh? No. Well, I was sure you did. Hey, Pop, did, uh, what's-her-name make any dessert? Yeah, she made some hot sweet potato pie. 
like your mama used to make. I hope it's better than mama used to make. I'll get it. <laughs>